do rambling we are riding with your 2-0 Los Angeles Rams today and yes I said 2-0 the Rams escape Indianapolis and come away with a 27-24 victory against an emotional crowd in Indianapolis now I want to say welcome to the NFL if you want to see a blowout every week, go watch college football. Go be a fan of Alabama. Where you got NFL guys beating up on high school kids. Because in the NFL, it's a bunch of grown ass men. Everybody has talent and everybody's getting paid. It's unreasonable to expect a blowout every single week from any team. Now the Colts are a good team. They're a playoff team. They're a playoff team last year and they're and I believe they're a playoff team this year. And if you look around the rest of the league, all the games were close for the most part. You might have had the Bills beat the shit out of the Dolphins. Tom Brady and them might have, you know, separated away from the Falcons near the end of that game to give them a pretty decent sized victory. But for the most part, all the games came down to a field goal. Just inside our division alone, the NFC West, the Arizona Cardinals, they dodge a bullet and the Vikings miss what should be a chip shot field goal at the buzzer. The Seattle Seahawks, they go to overtime against the Tennessee Titans, who the Cardinals handed, handled last week pretty easily. And the Seahawks go down in overtime against Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans. And San Francisco 49ers, he got a victory against a feisty Philadelphia Eagles team very low scoring game I mean teams are good in the NFL it's going to be a struggle every week every now and then yeah things might go well you know guys might be having a good day and it just seems like everything goes perfect Derek Goff's had those days we've seen it the Rams are going to have more of those days you just can't expect it every single week at the end of the day, a win's a win. This isn't the BCS, there's no style points. Margin of victory does not matter in the NFL. The only thing that matters is, when that clock says 0-0, zero, zero, do you have one more point than the other team? And if you do, that could be the difference between making the playoffs and not making the playoffs. That could be the difference between winning your division and not winning your division. And that could be the difference between home field advantage or playing on wild card weekend. And this game, it started off very similar to last week's game. First, the Rams give up a long opening kickoff return. And then Carson Wentz and the Colts, they drive all the way down the field, gashing the Rams defense. Just these little cuts here and there. But once they get down to the goal line, with four tries to get it in, the Rams defense denies them. And on fourth down, Leonard Floyd gets his first sack of the season. And then the Rams offense comes out and pick up where they left off last week. They had a perfect drive. Stafford went five for five, 82 yards and a 16 yard touchdown pass to a wide open Cooper Cup who ran like a seam route out of the backfield. I mean, it was beautiful. Stafford was working his way in the pocket, 
that he was going through his progressions, checking it down to Daryl Henderson. It was a thing of beauty. It was a masterful draft. So following the Rams first touchdown drive, the Colts answer back with a field goal drive of their own to bring it to make the score seven to three. And then on the ensuing drive after that, Stafford comes out and the Rams offense comes out. Stafford throws his first interception of the season. A pass that gets tipped and intercepted the same guy who Cooper Cup had just beaten for the touchdown. They don't allow the Colts to capitalize off the turnover. Once again, the Colts get down near the goal line. Carson Wentz trying to make something happen, tries to throw a little shovel pass, and Troy Reader, of all people, gets his first interception from the inside linebacker position. Just a heads up Johnny on the spot play. He dives forward and and just makes a play. The Rams defense, they're playing soft and they're letting teams move down the field. But like McVay always says, you gotta be your best when your best is required. And in those tight red areas, that's when your best is required. But to start the third quarter, the Rams get the ball back first. And they put together another nice drive that ends in a two-yard Daryl Henderson touchdown run. Seventeen to six lead still early in the third quarter. The Rams defense looks like they're going to put together another strong goal line stand. But Carson Wentz answers with a touchdown pass of his own to Zach Pascal, beating D. Will on the play for nine yards. Looked like he was expecting help from Jordan Fuller, who seemed to have misread the play. Like maybe he was watching Wentz's eyes, like he was expecting the ball to go underneath to. Jonathan Taylor who was crossing in front of him. He bites down and then tries to turn back up, but it's too late. Winston squeezes the ball in there to Pascal for the touchdown. The Colts opt to go for two on this play because an extra point just puts, it, puts them down four. They go for two to try to make it within three. It looks like the Rams defense is getting the pressure on Wentz, who goes drops back for the pass, but he's able to get the ball away. It gets tipped up in the air and lands in Jack Doyle's hands, and he falls in for the two-point conversion, cutting the Rams lead to just three points. starting to feel like all the momentum is starting to swing into the Colts' favor. They just had Peyton Manning and Edron James inducted to the Ring of Honor at halftime. So the crowd is live. The crowd is hype. This is the first time the Rams have had to deal with a crowd going against them since there was no crowd last year. The Rams offense just continued to struggle. It seems like nobody besides Cooper Cup wanted to make a play. I mean, Stafford was doing what he could, working within the pocket, trying to find guys, giving guys a chance to make plays. Sure, they weren't always perfect passes, but he gave them a chance and passes were bouncing off a guy's chest and, and Guys were having to dive for him and, and just weren't able to make plays that, that normally you see Rob Wood come down with a diving catch, you know, just they weren't making those types of plays. Early in the fourth quarter, 
Momentum already starting to swing in the Colts' direction. Rams offense can't get a drive going. They stall deep in their own territory. And Hecker has to trot out for his first punt of the game. Well, when Nick Scott goes in motion to be his up man, I don't know if he didn't get over far enough or if the new long snapper didn't do an accurate snap. But it but he snaps the ball back and it bounces off Nick Scott. And Johnny Hecker ain't able to get to the ball to at least prevent the Colts from falling on it. And if the Colts end up on top of it in the end zone for a touchdown. The special teams gives the Colts an easy seven points. And at this point, the Colts Stadium is going crazy. The crowd's in it. They're pumped up. They done took momentum. They done took the lead. They just had Edron James and Peyton Manning get inducted into the Ring of Honor at halftime. So, so everything is going the Colts' way at this point. So when the special teams gifts the Colts with an easy seven points and puts the Rams in a hole and the Rams trail for the first time this season, what do the Rams do? What does Stafford and the offense do? They answer the bell. They respond with a touchdown drive and a Cooper Cup touchdown to take the lead back. Say, give me that back. So with the Rams taking the lead back, the Colts come back and get another field goal drive to tie the game again. And that puts Matthew Stafford in a position to where now he's got to put together another fourth quarter comeback. Dell Henderson's out at this point. He don't went down with a rib injury. Carson Wentz is going to come out of this game after he gets rolled up by Aaron Donald and he's going to come down with an ankle and limp out. With Hendo coming out of the game with his rib injury, that sets up Sony Michelle to come in and help Matthew Stafford finish off the Colts, busting off some nice runs, looking good with his fresh legs there in the fourth quarter down the stretch. This is what Matthew Stafford's been doing his whole career in Detroit, and this is his first one for the Rams, bringing us back in the fourth quarter for a winning field goal to take the lead. Jalen Ramsey wraps it up with an interception to deny the Colts any chance of even coming back, especially with Carson Wentz on the sideline. Because that's what the Rams do. Be at your best when your best is required, as Big Bay always preaches. And that's exactly what they were when they needed to be at their best. See, I was watching Keyshawn Johnson this morning, and, and he brought up something that was interesting to me. It got me thinking. When guys like Carson Wentz or guys who have that injury-prone reputation, that stigma, is it a real thing or is it a mental thing? Are these injury-prone guys, are these guys that just don't have the heart to play through a little bit of pain? Are these guys that are legitimately hampered and physically unable to perform. Is it similar to when I go to work and I got that same person that's always calling out over a sniffle or, or a hangnail or just any reason to call out of work? Is that what Carson Wentz is? Is he that person that's always calling out of work for every little thing? Is it, is it, are we questioning his toughness? Does his toughness need to be questioned? Or is he seriously hurt? Is he seriously injured? 
Because Keyshawn says, if he's standing up, walking around on the sideline, why isn't he out there on the field fighting with his teammates in a game that's when, within reach where you need a field goal to tie it, a touchdown to take the lead against the defense that you've been moving the ball against with no problem? I guess that's a conversation for another day. Because today it's all about the Rams and the Rams winning. 27-24, victorious on the road in Indianapolis to go 2-0. Thank you for riding with me today. We are riding with the Rams as always. Y'all have a beautiful day. Peace!